Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes uh, since I've been cooking the agar. And now I'm going to pour into these <coughs> um, half pint mason jars that I have here. And you'll see that the lids have the holes in them. Um, it's going to allow some air to uh, flow while we're pressure cooking. Um, I'm using this strainer here. And that'll catch any of the uh, the agar that has been clumped up. I'm going to fill right about to there, halfway. That one. I'm going to go to the next one. I have about four half pint jars here. One more. And as you can see, this strainer caught all the clumps. And it's very important to clean out the strainer right away, otherwise, that stuff will never come out of there. Okay, so I have uh, four half pint mason jars here. Uh, three of them are half full. The other one has uh, about a quarter. It's about a quarter full. I'm going to pop the lids on top of those. And just watch out. They're very hot. So just be very careful you're not grabbing anywhere where the liquid is at on the jar, in the jar. Pop the lids on these. And as you can see, I uh, pre-made some some aluminum caps. Uh, this is tin foil to go over the top of these jars for when they go inside the pressure cooker. It'll keep any moisture from getting inside there and leaving. And once so I have these lids on here, I'll pop them right inside this pressure cooker that I have. And we're going to cook this. We're going to pressure cook these at 15 PSI for about 90 minutes. And uh, that'll sterilize them and then we can begin to pour.